So we're here with uh, Thomas from uh, Zor Electronics, is X that correct? XOR Electronics, yes. XOR Electronics. How are you today, man? You good? Yeah, uh, now, a bit exhausted because it was a long day yesterday and of course the parties, then it's uh, always a bit like, oh yeah, first thing in the morning is coffee and uh, get started, so yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah, man. yeah, fine. Well, you've got some great gear to show us today. Uh, what's, what's, what have you got in your rack? It's beautiful. Uh, 90s inspired rack and also yeah 90, 1980s inspired decor yeah awesome welcome rack. to the 80s exactly uh, or at least uh, somehow yeah we, we got a nutsack sequencer here and it's a, like a tracker style sequencer for euro rack systems and uh, there's eight tracks uh, for each track uh, you got uh, three outputs cv and gate outputs in the main, main configuration uh, and if you go in there, you use the track out, it's running from up to down. So instead of like a piano roll from left to the right, it goes from up to down. If it press yeah. starts, then I can have to sequence. So what are we listening to here? That's just like one, one simple, uh, simple patch and it's uh, playing the notes on a 64 step uh, sequence. And I can like, just like uh, with Ableton, you can uh, launch clips or patterns. And it will add the drums now. And you have it, uh, you have it hooked up to a CRT TV as well here. Yes, you? yes. I got uh, I got a, 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 a video expander for it, and you can uh, hook up uh, HDMI and uh, uh, composite output to see it on the big screen, and connect a computer keyboard for easy editing. Because this is, uh, of course, editing with just a few knobs, and uh, on the computer keyboard, it's more uh, easier to edit uh, things. Yeah, much um, more. Which is the module with the with the output to the television then? Yeah, it's it's this one here on the right. You have USB port and uh, like an HDMI or a composite uh, out. Oh, you're bringing the 80s up to... Yeah, up yeah but to it's 80s. also a bit more comfortable because if you're on your rack and standing there and you can take a Bluetooth keyboard and sit on the couch and just edit the sounds and you can keep on patching later and this yeah. kind of stuff. So basically the main thing it's a, a CV gate sequencer but it's also MIDI sequencer and uh, it can be per track uh, polyphonic uh, do, uh, MIDI sequencing and all things MIDI can do. Uh, you can uh, hook up a MIDI keyboard and record stuff uh, and uh, exchange things. Uh, it's also a sampler. You can load in samples on the SD card and uh, play them. Uh, it's an FM synthesizer oscillators. It has uh, internal LFOs. Uh, it has envelopes and you can just route them to every function or to the outputs or route the LFOs to the patterns and manipulate the patterns with that and with the patterns you manipulate the LFOs so it can be really cross uh, modulation thing and everything. And, uh, you, said, uh, you said it was released about five years ago. This, yes, yes, the main module is like uh, released, uh, it's out there since five years and but it continuously get new firmware updates with new features and stuff so it's uh, the communities uh, we yeah, are requesting a lot and uh, I'm adding a lot, uh, so it's an ever-growing uh, sequencer system. Yeah, and alongside it you have lots of sort of additional auxiliary modules. Which you've yes, got. exactly. I've, uh, then uh, beside the, the uh, local outputs, uh, it has an extension for uh, 16 more triggers, so trigger gate outputs of another one with uh, 16 more CV uh, outputs, which can also itself can be the LFOs or envelopes, uh, you can route them on there and then it's like a multi-functional thing. And uh, you can have up to four of these expanders, so it will be 60 more, uh, 64 more, more outputs to sequence your whole room. So basically... Nice. And, 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 and how the, does uh, automation work with NerdSec? Can you send sort of cut-off, filter cut-off automation? Yeah, yeah, you could, there's, there's no filter in there, but so but you, you can just uh, like root the LFO, there's a modulation matrix, right. and you can just root it to, to any function, or you can just like say on this modulation matrix, I want to have the CV input for that as an input and change change the uh, the speed of the LFOs or whatever, so 
there's there's a lot of internal modulation in the left right and of course you can connect external stuff to control to control yeah, things. Yeah, and having six, you say four of these, up to four of these yes. added on, that's that's a lot of expansion, isn't it? That can go a yeah, yeah, there, there's a long way. And, uh, and uh, what, what it means also is that each track can be polyphonic. And that's that's like a, a big plus if you want to play a chord, you don't need three tracks yeah. for three notes. No, you can do this from within one track. Anyways, always, because from each track you can man manipulate every output as well. So it's it's like just how you configure it, uh, what you want to do, so that's the thing. Then uh, the new thing is, uh, uh, which is coming somewhere end of the year, is the new MIDI expander. So I have uh, like a classic MIDI expander with uh, Dean MIDI and uh, a smaller version with TRS MIDI. Uh, but the new one is like a, a USB MIDI host to connect to launch pads, for example, or like a, like a, a MIDI keyboard through USB. And with the launch pad, you can uh, control the sequence, you can uh, program the uh, drum triggers and stuff, so there but, but there's a few functions uh, for it. And it. Would this be sort of clip launching as well? Yes, Is yes, the kind because these, these are the clips, and if I start them... You can program triggers and stuff like that, but it, this is mainly like the clip you, because it's exactly the same screen you have on the sequencer screen with the colors. You yeah. can give it colors, and you can find the back. And luckily, this is a uh, track sequencer, so we have eight tracks there. <laughs> and uh, up there, the buttons can be used to mute or to solo stuff. So, so it's also a performance uh, thing, and you can scroll there and some extra functions here to double clock and all this kind of things with some shortcuts from the launch pad. And does that have like native support, yeah, the launch pad, when you plug it in? Does it does it automatically set the colors off yes, from the yes, sec? Yes, yes, yes. assign it? Oh, yeah, that's exactly. Really nice. that's so it's, really it's nice. just like it starts up, you just assign here that you use a, a, a launch pad or which launch pad you use and then uh, it's, it's integrated. Great. Um, and then it has a, a MIDI device port. You plug in it into your computer and it pops up as a NerdSec MIDI port. So it's directly integrated. Some st uh, standard TRSA MIDI ports that you can use with an adapter for DIM MIDI. And uh, then it has uh, I2C ports, which is, uh, a, let's say, like MIDI. And there's some gear that can be controlled with that internally. So you make a connection on the backside of the module to another module. And I have a demonstration with the ER301 here for it, uh, where, it play, where it has 36 virtual patch points because it's working with like, like patch cables. But this will be 36 cables connected to the other gear and it can be up to 100 cables, Whoa. virtual cables. Wow. That's and, a lot uh, to play with. It's a lot to play with and uh, you know, with the with ER301 you always are uh, running out of uh, inputs and things. It has it itself has 12 inputs and uh, it can be 100 inputs with the virtual cable. So, and that's the integration for that also in, in, uh, in the NerdSec. Then I have the knob and with this you can dial in nodes and stuff and uh, let's, uh, let's do it. I make a pattern which is playing now a 16 step pattern and I just put in which, uh, which step I want to have, dial the note. Yes. And let's add the drums again. So it's just also another mode of input that you can use. So I thought like this was also the missing link because normally you program your music or you compose your music on the on the screen with navigation, and this is another input again just to dial in uh, dial in your notes and stuff. So to jam or a bit easier to jam uh, and things. And of course you can connect a MIDI keyboard and just record stuff and uh, play live and. Uh, can also use it as a MIDI to CV uh, thing for polyphonic playing, but that would be a, a 
expensive me to see yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, very fully featured but you can use it for it so yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and when's this module going to be available uh, I think really? by the end of the year so I have uh, uh, the, the, the thing it's produced already and stuff but it's a firmware thing because uh, until now I had one MIDI port but then I have three MIDI ports so and there has to be some routing because I don't want to have every data on every port so it should be that's what I have to add so there's still some some work to do Excellent. Well, it sounds great. And um, yeah, thank you so much for showing us Nerd Secrets yeah, today. Yeah, thank you. Have a nice time. Yeah.